Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and I'm doing a market review here of the SPY. The market gapped up this morning. It really wasn't that surprising. I did think the market would not necessarily hold immediately into the open, but would hold between 10 and 10.30. It held before that. It held by 9.45. This is the low of the day in the market. 206.07, approximately 206 in the SPY. And the market's at the low of the day at 9.45, and then rallied, did rally then at 10 o'clock, and over the high into 10.30. Target for the market today is 2.08. I don't see any way we don't get there. Uh, very bullish. Every pullback in the market can be bought today. Expect the rally to continue next week. We could have a tremendous gap up, actually, into Monday over the weekend in the market. I'm not saying 100% we will, but I'm putting it out there that we could. We could have a big gap up on Monday because the market is strong. Buying's coming into the market. Buying never left the market. The bulls were in control of the market every step of the way. Every time all of this happened, the bulls were still in control. And how do I know? Because I read gaps, and gaps tell me whether something is weak or strong. And the market is strong. It has always been strong. The SPY will get to 300 this year by the end of the calendar year 2015. The only person that's saying that with that kind of an exact number, and I have 100% conviction and no chance of failure that the SPY gets to that number this year and will continue to make new highs. There will be people that short the market continuously throughout this entire year, though, that think the market is extended. And the more it runs, the more they'll think it's extended and they'll keep getting shorted. And there are people that did short this in here, which, which is why when the market gets up over this area, 208, approximately between 208 and 210, the market is going to have a big lift, big, because it will blow out the short covering and the short positions in the market. And the buying's going to lift it to come over it anyways, which was always going to happen. I don't even think we go up here and retest it and not get right over it. Like, I literally think we're going to get right over it. And we could do it in a gap. Then it could be a gap on Monday or next week. Nothing stopping us now here. Nothing. Nothing. So, again, I don't really see people letting loose of this kind of action after the next rally until, you know, late summer, early fall of 2015. But the market is going to stay in the uptrend that it's in. And it was very tough to go aggressively long the market today, but the time of the day to go long was around 10 o'clock, which the market set up on the 5 and the 15-minute chart, and you could be long the market, and this is a nice trade, and it has good risk reward. And it's not a good time of the day to be in anything here around lunch, but you could buy any pullback on this 15-minute chart or the 5-minute chart of the market today because it still has a dollar target left. Could the market run all the way up into the close? Yes. Volume in the market today is probably going to double from where it's at even here, even though it's a Friday, even though it's 12 o'clock, even though it's the day before a weekend because the market's so strong and everyone can see it now. And I, and I, and I always saw it. I mean, I absolutely always saw this. I know the market made a series of lower highs and lower lows, but it's not the right way to read a trend in something. And if it was, then no one would ever take any trades that don't work in the market. If, if the only way to read trends in something, if it's long or short, is the, the way the pivot's set up, then no one would ever lose. I mean, so that's ridiculous. The, there's more to it, which I teach in my Golden Gap class and in the Trends class as well. So the reality is you have to know how to learn how to read price action in gaps in order to determine the correct trend in something, whether bullish or bearish. And I love to short. And if I thought this market was weak or there was any sign of weakness here, I would have said it the last two months, but there wasn't, despite the fact there was 27 red bars in the market in the last two months. But there really wasn't any weakness showing in the market. The bulls still had their position there. They were there. I saw them there. You might not have thought they were there, but they were there. And they're showing their hand right now and in the last week, actually. And February, I said, would be a very strong month. February, I said, we'd make a new high. It's all playing out that way. And so, you really, I went long this week in Disney. 
and I'm going to have to go long this year in the market in quality bullish gaps. I'll still only go long in stuff that's quality bullish gaps. Golden gaps are rate 20 points or more per the 26-point rating system. But the fact is that you will have to go long this year some of the days or do nothing because there will be some days where you can't short anything this year. How do I know? I get up every morning and I look for the gaps. And whatever's quality is the thing that I do. And Disney was one of those ones this week that really got everything in the world and was just perfect. But, you know... The market wasn't a perfect gap today, but it was showing its hand very well. And it really did set up the way that I thought, you know, not into the open after a little bit of a pullback, but still held very, very strong. This is holding in midair. It's holding in midair. So the thing is that just going to have to be one of those years where you got to know how to trade. I mean, you're going to really be tested in your trading this year if you're a day trader. That's why it's a good year to actually learn the kind of stuff that I know. If the people that are with me will know what to do because I'm going to say it and keep people out of trouble and stuff that's crap and stuff that works great. And if somebody doesn't work, you're off of it. I mean, it's really the kind of year that you're going to have to be so strict and disciplined with yourself. It's going to be a year that if you know what to do, you have a chance to make a lot of money. And if it's a year you don't know what to do, you have a chance that you're going to lose and lose more than you normally would. Because you probably will keep fighting stuff, insisting to do things that you think are right but aren't going to work out this year. There's stuff that people do that aren't going to, isn't going to work this year. Not me. Not what I do. Not, not gaps because I'm doing the correct thing that works in any type of market, bullish or bearish. But the thing is that really, honestly, there's going to be people that try to do stuff they would normally do this year that are day traders or swing traders or core traders that isn't going to work. It's just flat out, flat out not going to work. And you're going to have to be disciplined this year in your risk amount, in the number of trades you take every day, in the number of symbols that you watch. And you better get it right. And if something doesn't work, then you just lay off. And you give something one trade or two trades and you lay off. You're not going to be able to fight stuff this year if it doesn't want to go. It, first of all, you should never do that anyways. But it's going to be a year to be very strict. And you're going to have to be strict if you want to be profitable. Profitable on the week and the month and the year. And that means some days you may have to step aside in the market and just let it do its thing if there isn't any quality. So very bullish week for the market. Rallied every single solitary day. Gapped up today and had a rally today, and the market is doing it. Expect next week to be just as bullish as this week, if not more so. I don't see us retesting that high and not getting over it. I see us blowing right over that sucker, and we could even do it in a gap. And it could even be Monday. Who knows? I'm not saying definitely Monday, but I'm saying it's, yeah, it's possible. So nice bullish market. It's falling through, and the market is actually perfect. And if you would like to take the Golden Gap class, you can email me for the next upcoming dates. I have come out with a new bullish gap class. It is not exactly the same as the bearish gap class, obviously, because it's going long. And there are some particular things about the points that are not exactly the same. Uh, and like everything else, it has to do with being very specific and very, very detailed, which I am when I look at stuff in gaps. So the difference between the bullish and bearish gap class is small, but enough that it really warrants the difference, will make a difference between you finding a good bullish gap or not, because some of the points are actually not exactly the same. And, you know, I have a good eye for bullish gaps, but until I sat down and actually wrote the bullish gap class, did I not realize that myself, that there are some things that are actually very different. Only a few, but they matter to get it right. And in the end, you want to get it right. You're doing this to make money. If you're doing this to make money, you have to get it right way more than you don't. That's the only way to be successful in this business. And it's tough. It's tough for people to be consistent. It, it really, really is. So be very careful here this afternoon. If you're not long something already, it's really just too late here for the day. And if you shorted something this morning, you just take your money and run. We'll see what the market goes next week. And have a great weekend, everyone. If you're interested in more information about the bullish gap class or the next upcoming bearish gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.